What's up guys? Welcome back. Today is Thursday. I want to start a new segment on Thursdays called Ticket Tip Thursdays. On Thursdays, I'll be answering your questions with anything ticket related. You have questions, I got answers. Now, if you want to get your questions answered, one, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what questions are boggling your mind that you need an answer to. Today, we're going to start off with a question from Melissa Rodriguez where she asks the following. Can you please make a video of how to transfer tickets to another phone? I got my tickets from StubHub. By the way, the BTS concert got postponed, but they said that you can still use your tickets purchased. Do you think that's possible? Excellent question, Melissa. Let's start off with the first question. How do you transfer tickets to another phone? Now, I want to note one thing. This event, these BTS tickets that she's talking about, they were purchased via StubHub, but the actual tickets themselves are being transferred from Ticketmaster to her or to wherever the account that it was purchased from. So these tickets are actually being housed in Ticketmaster. So that's where you got to start your search. Let's jump on over to Ticketmaster and we'll begin. I'm going to do it from my phone because they asked specifically about the phone. But again, this is a very similar process to how it works on the computer. First thing you got to do, jump over to the Ticketmaster app. You can also use the mobile browser. All is well, works the same way. Go over to my events once you've logged in. Once you're there, scroll over to the actual event that you're looking to transfer uh, and just click on it. So simple. A child could do it. In fact, I'm sure a child has done it. After that, tickets will be there on your page. You can scroll through them, take a look at them, look at them. Ooh, these nice tickets. They're so tickety. And you know, maybe one day I might actually be able to use them. We'll see. So go ahead. Once you're there, two things I want to know. One, not all events will have the transfer feature available. Reason behind that is twofold. One, the event itself may not have the delivery delay lifted, so the tickets are still not available to be accessed. That's the first reason. Second reason is the event might not have a ticket transfer option because the ticket type that you bought is not eligible for transfer. A lot of times you'll see with hard tickets, generally speaking, they are not able to be transferred because they are purchased as hard stock. Uh, will call tickets, same idea. Idea, they are not eligible for transfer. And most often you'll have to actually go ahead, pick them up from the event itself. But otherwise, if you went and actually bought the tickets through Ticketmaster from the beginning, they will generally tell you whether the tickets are transferable or not. If you're unsure, you can go ahead to, you can go jump over to the actual ticket event page, take a look there. They will have some details on whether ticket transferability is available or not. Fantastic, wonderful, excellent. In this case, the event we're looking at is eligible. So if you see it on your phone, you see the big blue button, go ahead, click that, that says transfer. Fall on the computer, very similar process. At the top, there should be a transfer button. Go ahead, click that, select the seats that you would like to transfer. On the mobile phone, when you hit transfer, you'll see the list of all seats available for transfer there. Go ahead, select all the ones you're looking to transfer. Uh, and then once you're ready, click transfer to or next. Next option, if you're on your phone, you have the option to actually transfer to a contact that you already have. Go ahead, save you a few seconds and taps by doing it that way. Otherwise, you can manually enter in the recipient. Go ahead, put in their name, email address, or phone number. And then that's basically it. Once you put all the information in there, you go ahead, you hit transfer. Uh, and what's going to happen is there's no confirmation. It just is done. That's it. It's all over. Fantastic. Wonderful. And then now you're just waiting just waiting for them to accept the transfer. To accept a transfer, it's very simple. What you're actually gonna end up happening is if you receive the ticket transfer through your mobile device, there'll be a link, go ahead, click on that. Otherwise, you'll get an email sent to you. Go ahead, click on the link that's there to basically accept tickets. It will then ask you to log in. Once you've completed the login process, go ahead and say, do you accept the transfer, yes or no? If you hit yes, tickets will automatically populate into your Ticketmaster account, and that's it. That's it, that's all fantastic, wonderful, nothing further to do. For the person who actually went and transferred those tickets, those tickets will no longer say they're pending. It'll actually now say complete ticket transfer, ticket, ticket. Oh, that's a lot of tongue twisting. Ticket transfer is complete. You will now see a confirmation on your page saying ticket transfer is now done. You will not have the tickets in your account anymore. Barcodes will basically be invalid if you had saved them as an added to your Apple wallet or whatever. If you had hard stock tickets and you were transferred, the old barcodes no longer any good. Only the new ones that have been transferred, those are the only valid tickets available. Fantastic. Something I want to mention here. When you do a ticket transfer from the computer, you will get an email confirmation saying ticket transfer has been initiated, has begun. You'll be able to see actually what email address you typed in when you're doing the transfer. When you do it through your mobile device, however, there is no email confirmation. And this can be a bit annoying because sometimes you just don't know if you typed in the right email address. So, pro tip. All you have to do when you're going through the transfer phase, what you do here where it says first name, last name, put in their full name in the first name line, and then in the last name, 
put in the email address. Put in the email address, copy paste it, put it in the line below where it says email or mobile number. Then when you hit transfer, what it's gonna do is actually gonna display to you the email address that was put in both as the last name and as the email address. I can now see what email address I actually put in to send these tickets. Thumbs up run at gmail.com, fantastic. That is the email I wanted to go to. Wonderful, excellent, perfect. I now know that I have the ability to say, yes, I sent this to the right person. I find this is a nice, easy way to just kind of get around the confirmation page because when you're on this page, it shows you who it's sent to, but it only shows you the first and last name. It does not show you the email address or phone number that it was sent to. So this way, you're actually able to confirm that you sent it to the right person. Person. That answers question number one. And question number two, the event was postponed. I have tickets in my account. They say the tickets are still gonna be valid. Is this the case? The answer to this question is 100%. Yes, any tickets you bought where an event has been postponed and rescheduled to a new date, even if the date hasn't yet been set, the old barcodes will always work for the new event. The barcodes themselves are tied to that event, therefore, whenever that event is scheduled to take place, that is when the barcodes will be accepted. When the event is created, a manifest is basically generated for all the different barcodes. When the event changes dates, the barcodes themselves, they do not change, they're still tied to that one event. So once the event actually takes place, these barcodes will still be valid for the new date. So nothing to worry about, nothing to do. The tickets you have are going to be valid for that new date. Nothing to write about. So two questions, two answers. I think we're batting a thousand today. Wonderful, excellent, amazing. If you have any questions you want to get answered, let me know in the comments below. I'll read them all, take a, pick out a few of them and start doing some videos on those. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because then you won't miss out on any of these answers that are coming up every single Thursday. And see you guys next time.